Howdy folksy and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 2. As per usual, we're just jumping on in here and the more astute of you may note that our party hit point pools are a little bit different on this screen. Uh, and if I go into my inventory, you will see that gear is a little bit different. I did some grinding between last episode and this. Notably, I got everybody up to fifth level. I figured it would make it a little bit easier going underground to do so. And with the grinding came some gear upgrades. Uh, they are as follows. Swell went from scale armor to plate mail. His large shield was upgraded to an iron shield plus one, and he gained a helm. Which I suppose I can bring you up here so you guys can see stats. I figure I'll probably show off stats for everybody after every grind session if I had to go. Uh, Brunhilda went from plate mail to plate armor and gained access to a plus two helm. So her and Swell are on par with each other AC or wise. In the long term, I'm fully expecting Swell to come out way ahead of Brunhilda because he's going to be carrying a shield in addition to the armor. Uh, offensively, he'll be lacking compared to her, though. Devon upgraded his chain or his scale armor to chainmail plus two, uh, and as you can see, he gained access to another ray gun, bringing his accuracy up to a pretty impressive thirty. I figure, like ideally, I'd like to get him three ray guns and then a helm, and I think that'll probably be his general gear layout, at least for the time being, uh, until he doesn't really need the accuracy boosts anymore. Chunk got a hold of some ringmail armor, and we found a Thieves' Pick plus two, which brings his Thieves up to 61, which is what I would consider at this point to be pretty good. Um, overall, he's pretty effective at what he does now. Goldleaf got access to some scale armor plus one, her weapon is the same. However, with 5th level came some additional spells. You can see she has spells 2, 3, and 4 of level 3, which are Create Food, Cure Poison, and Immobilize, all three of which are kind of mediocre, truth be told. And Rove gained absolutely nothing, no gear. He did gain 3rd level spells, 2, 3, and 5, which are Fly, Invisibility, and Web. Web is kind of useful, but not really. Um, overall... The thing that's going to be limiting Rove, as you can see, here, let me get my mouse in here, you can see that Goldleaf has 35 spell points and Rove only has 9. Uh, the reason for that, I believe, is personality affects your spell point pools, and since this is trash, he's going to kind of be running out of spell points. I'm not really worried about it long term. You don't really have to worry about much, honestly, long term. Uh, so, we should be okay. So what are we doing today? We're going underground. Our goal is I guess to get through all of these goblins will we be able to do it I hope so if worst comes to worst I might have to jump to the next town and pick up some spells uh, notably lightning bolt which is an AoE um sprites and beggars sure I think sprites I don't actually hmm I know super sprites are nasty, but I don't think regular sprites are. Yeah, these are okay. You'll note that our front line here is hitting twice per attack. That's a pretty big deal. And I'm actually very tempted to switch Devon and Chunk's positions in the party because Chunk's actually more effective as a melee combatant than as a ranged one. Uh, but we'll kind of let things go here for a little while longer. I think the beggars we can just melee down. Yeah, not a problem. We'll search chunk, a shirt bow, some nunchucks, 65 gold a pop, and we do not want to go that way. We want to go this way. Uh, I'm gonna run from that. We are gonna go to the next town. I want to get. I want to get lightning bolt. Rove needs ranged spells. Also gonna go ahead and grab some food here. We have plenty of money. You'll know that we have 7,000 gold on us. So like. We're, we're, we're not going to bump into any problems there. Uh, and I do think... I do think I want to reorganize my party here. Uh, so let's... Let's try this again. So, Brunhilda, Chunk, Devon, Goldie Grove. There we go. Yeah, I want, I want Devon in the back. Okay, so we're going to go to the poor man's portal. Sansbar, 10 gold pieces, and the first thing I'm going to do is pull out my clue book and have a look at the map and see how the maps are for towns in this game because I can never remember. Oh god, the town maps are terrible. Do they actually have details in them, or is it just. No, it's just like. It's a crappy ice. Oh no, there is details. Alright, I'm gonna make this work. 
It's like a half isometric drawing of the town map. It's not great. <sighs> okay, so we need to find, I assume the wizard's eye is the mage's guild? Where is it? I don't know. Oh, I do. It is right here. Teach your party the wizard eye spell. Yes! All right. Greedy snitches, sure. These are not a problem, and they drop a lot of money when you kill them. Fiery death! 21 gold, a magic charm, a staff, and a cudgel. That's okay. We are lightly injured, so we'll go ahead and rest, and we will have Rove, whose spell points are now up. I don't know why his spell points were so low before. Might have been starving? Cursed? Cursed. Probably cursed. They did seem a little bit low, but his spell points, I think, are going to be lower than gold leaves in the long term. Uh, anyway, since we can cast Wizard Eye, that is a third level spell. That is number six. And now I no longer have to depend on that damnable fountain, which is great. Uh, so the Whirlwind Mage's Guild. Oh, there's the Mage's Guild. It's six. How novel. Who would have guessed? The Mage's Guild is just called the Mage's Guild. Uh, spells, yes. Oh, we must be a, a freaking member. Where is it? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where that's going to be, however, if nothing else, we can come to the temple and see what they have on offer for gold leaf. <sighs> 2 2, 2 5, and 2 7. So 2 2 is heroism, 2 5 is protection from elements, and 2 7 is weaken. I'm going to grab heroism. grab protection from elements and I don't think we will ever use weekend so I'm not gonna it's like a, it's 200 gold but <laughs> no okay so the Soraka portal is right here mm. Mm. I wish that the maps in the freaking manual were like this they're so much easier to read you guys have no idea Let's see we can see what specials are at the shop. Crap. Alright. And you guys have, ooh, a wakizashi. Yeah, that's not great. Chainmail splint, nothing too interesting there. And nothing too interesting there. We can, however, offload some stuff. A magic charm. Allow me to pull up my web browser really quick here. I should have bookmarked might magic two shrines so that I could just have this stuff on my other monitor, but that requires forethought. I know none of you are here for that. Uh, magic charm plus ten magic, and it casts S uh, sorcerer spell two seven, which is protection for magic. Uh, so we're actually gonna hold on to that. That's a good item. Trade item with rove magic charm. So what is two magic? Unless. Maybe that's resistances? Because it sure as hell ain't spell points. I have no idea. Uh, and I don't think there's a way to check, like on a per character basis. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Okay, and up oh, our. Oh, I know it's 3 6. Our wizard eye spell wore off. That's something that I de ideally. Ideally, I will keep on us essentially the rest of the game. Slice opportunities. Pickpocket. I actually don't know what pickpocketing does. We're not gonna grab it. And the Sandy Dunes is right here, which is, I think, the inn. Oh no, it's Tissue System. The best gambler. No. Yeah. Seriously, Rove! Seriously, is it gonna be this bad? Is your duration on your spells gonna be this bad? That I can only step like 10 times before they wear off? Because if that's the case. Oh, I'm gonna rage. I'm just looking all over the map here, and I'm not seeing 
guild membership, it might be here. Like, that's the thing, is it might just not be marked on the map. Oh my god, this wizard eye is just terrible. These are skeletons. Ah, uh, we can fight these guys. Rove, we're not gonna have to do anything. Once we get Lightning Bolt, like, fights like this, because Lightning Bolt hits, I think, four things, and it's gonna one-shot most things that we're fighting at this point. Combats are gonna be just massacres. 51 gold, nice. Rove, you're terrible, all your spell points. I can't imagine it's gonna be in one of these rooms. I just can't. Unless... Is it up here? Locked. That means that there's probably something horrible in there. If I had something like... I don't, I can't remember what the spell that lets you walk through walls in this. I want to say it's Ethereal but that's in... Uh... Zine? Is the... I don't know, there's, an appar there's apparently Ethereal in this as well. Uh, but if that's locked, that's not what we're looking for. Rove. Rove. You're terrible. It's because he's low level. Like, that's, that's entirely why. And as we gain levels, it'll get better. Do you want to hit the in? Yes, because this way, if we die, we'll respawn right here. Red Lantern. No, we do not want to go into the Red Lantern. Well, we just saved. I can show you guys the Red Lantern Tavern. Amidst bloodthirsty brawling stands Luscious Lucindra. The barmaid bottles. Uh, Luscious Lucinda, the barmaid. Bottles fly through the air as she asks, Can I do you something? Yes. So you'll see here that we can get a feeding frenzy, have a drink. Specialties, tip the bartender, listen to rumors. However, if we step here, chairs and tables fly, a mug hits you in the face. Do we brawl? Well, yeah. Dun dun dun. So, looking at this group right here, the most dangerous things here are the super sprites. Two super sprites will probably wreck my party. 40 thug trainees. So we got a, you know, a 50, 50 round, uh, 50 participant fight going on here. We are not going to make it through this, but we'll try. Super sprites are so bad. Swell, why are you in the back row? Where are they? Ah, there's a juggler! I didn't even see the two jugglers. Oh, that's... Death. Yeah, we're... Yeah. Yeah. Jugglers are terrible. I was like, oh, super sprites, it's... Hell on Earth. No. No. Jugglers. Interesting. The, um, oh, no, never mind. Here it is. Oh, Art of Diplomacy. No. Uh, there's a, there's someone that will sell you guild membership in every town. How much mana does that cost? Wow. 15 spell points for Wizard Eye. Three times your level, plus two gems. Man, that hurts. I mean, it won't be bad in the first town, because we're gonna be, you know, sitting on a bunch of caves and stuff, so it's not gonna be horrible um, to... <sighs> it's not gonna be horrible to... Uh, like, just go back to town and rest, or hit the... hit the, um... the fountain if we need to. Is it one of these? No. Mmm. This is gonna drive me nuts. And I'm sure, naturally, somebody would be like, oh, it's, it's right here. No. I think it's nothing. Temple Benedictus, why? So here's the portal. It's not here. We do not want to enter the Plains of Peril. Here we go. Drunk beyond belief, a sorcerer mumbles, Join the Mages, kill! Burp. 200 gold, yes. Jesus Christ, how long are we at? 15 minutes. 15 minutes is how long it took me to find the fucking Mages Guild. Oh my god. It's only gonna get worse. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Things are gonna get so much worse when it comes to me jabbering around and being just generally lost. You have no idea. All right, what do you got? 2-7, which is protection from magic. Sure. 3, 1, and 4. Acid stream, lightning bolt. Sure. Now gather your gold. There you go. 
Okay, let's hustle our way back to middle gate. Okay, we're back in familiar territory. We are okay on food. Come in here, do this, we'll rest. We'll rest again so that it's daylight out. Get mini-map. All right, let's go fuck some shit up. Get light cooking here, and here we go. Beware danger. Witches' cats are situationally dangerous. They do cast minor magic, but I think we should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. All right. As much as I would like to. Well, lightning bolt's only one mana level. Hmm. We'll see how long these things survive. Oh, look, they survived. All right, three, four. So lightning bolt, I believe, hits four things, and the way it does is it starts on whatever your initial target is and then just works down the list. So it'll be one, two, three, four, but if there were a fifth thing, like a second man at arms, they would not be hit. But if we started at Witch's Cat B, then they would be. So 20 points, 20 points, 20 points, and 20 points. And thus is the power of the lightning bolt and the party getting lit on fire. However, we got some plate mail out of it, which is situationally worth it. Rove has one hit point, however, so we're gonna sleep. And, uh waste a bunch of his mana casting wizard's eye all right we have goblins these guys i don't think are worth blowing mana on i'm just gonna hack through them really quickly okay sure we'll go for chests i was like i don't know if i want to go for chests but because i can just do this and and we're gonna go without the mini-map for this hallway, because I wanna hold on to mana. All right, so this is more goblins, which again, should not be an issue. However, what I wanna do is kill four of them, get these orcs in play. Come on, guys. Oh, of course, Rove. Screw it. We're gonna lightning bolt H. Oh, wow, it's actually not killing them. That's depressing. Chunk, go ahead and attack. Gold leaf. Heal rove. Because these orcs have bows. Devon can shoot. And more lightning related death. And there we go. Go ahead and pop this. Hey, some magic herbs. A little bit of healing magic there. Get light like going, take another step. Nothing. However, we have Goblin Lair, and as soon as we bash this door down, we are going to get hit in the face by a lot of nasty. Let's do it! A roaring inferno engulfs the party, or not, because apparently my front row is a bunch of wimps. Come on, guys. Just bash the door down. There you go. <sighs> Alright. So it looks like eight goblins, six orcs, and an inept wizard. Well, we're going to have to fight them. And apparently a goblin just called some buddies, because now there are more goblins. Devon can shoot the wizard. They only have one hit point, so it's not a big deal. Rove. I guess just start lighting things up. And the melees can get to their dirty work. Gold leaf. Can you do anything? I guess try immobilize on C. Hey, look at that. Hey, we actually held a pretty good size, uh, a pretty good size group of them there. Nice. Rove for the time being, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Rove hold off. Cause I believe if you attack something that's held, I, it might be an instant kill. I'm not entirely sure. My main goal was to make sure that there was four goblins on the field so that I could nuke them all. Okay, chunk attack. Nope, apparently it is not an instant kill. That or Chunk is just that bad. Go ahead and heal Chunk up a little bit. Goblins are waiting for an opening. Devon can shoot. Now the thing with this is I believe if they're held and you hit them, uh, the hold wears off. There, so we should be able to just easily mow through those guys. Oh, I know I'm botching chests so much I keep having Devon open them and not Chunk. Oopsies. Okay, so you come here. You have found a valuable gold goblet. Okay, and now... We're getting our asses out of here. And we're gonna go talk to the wizard. 
Ah, you found a goblet. For your bravery, I grant you 2,000 experience, the spell Eagle Eye, and if you search, 1,000 gold. Now, visit my sister Nordana. She lives nearby and could provide valuable information. So if we search, we get 166 gold. That is per character. So it, the, the amount is proper, don't worry. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our fountain. We're gonna save, and let's see if we have enough XP to level. We should. Oh no, we do not. Holy crap. This guy's taking 10k XP. So what I think I'm gonna do um, is our next level, well I should say from now on we're going to be doing uh, probably all of our leveling if I had to guess in Atlantium, because it'll just make the, the long-term game easier on us. Um, and this quest where we just went down there and killed all those goblins and got the goblet and left, that is repeatable. You can repeat it as many times as you want. And I'm going to, between this episode and next one, probably grind the party if I had to guess between... I'm going to either get them to 7th or 9th level, depending on just how hard I want to go at it. 9th level is going to take a long time, and it might be more than I want to do. But 4th level is really good, because then I'll have access to Fireball, which is basically Lightning Bolt on steroids. So, that's something I want. We do have an Iron Helm. Trade item with... Well, actually, we'll give the Iron Helm. Oh, he can't. He doesn't have any room for it. I was just say we're going to give it to Chunk. Here, we'll remove his crossbow and give him the... Oh, he actually can't use it. That's wonderful. Kendavon. He cannot either. Hmm. He doesn't have any room. Uh, that worries me a little bit. I thought everybody could equip, like, helms and stuff. That might change what my long-term uh, equipment plans are going to be. We actually don't need the plate mail. Actually don't need really any of this. I'm going to hold on to the magic herbs. Force potion and super flare. I think super flare is daylight, and I don't know what a force potion does. So I'm going to get rid of them both. Chain mail can go. And that's good enough for now go ahead and rest and Nordana is in here Nordana moans my kidnapped sons are held captive by the cruel kobolds in the cave under this town you've braved this treacherous place for my brother now rescue Drog and Sir Hyron and I'll reward you well okay we'll come back we will activate ye oldie fountain of of wizard eye oh and we got ambushed by venomous snakes and burglars they chose poorly Okay, search. 320 gold. Ooh, a ray gun plus one. Nice. Um. Actually, I think I'm gonna equip that on swell. 20 accuracy. So normally they give five. Since it's plus one, it gives one more. So it's a six. Gives them a 20 accuracy. At this point, like, I just want my front row to hit. Devon's having no trouble with it. He's. Six points of accuracy isn't gonna be as noticeable on him as it will be on, like, Swell and Burn Hill. The Swell, particularly. I should probably get something on Chunk. <sighs> I don't know, we'll see. I, like, that crossbow on Chunk, that's replaceable as far as I'm concerned. Uh, ooh, yes. Gnome Elders, you can see that they throw some nasty magic at us. However, they're pretty squee- like, squishy. Um, and more importantly, they drop a shitload of money. Okay, they're within range of the melees, so they should both be... Yeah, I was gonna say, just getting cut down here. <sighs> okay, let's kill this guy. 400 XP. Search, or find trap chunk. Of course he fails it. Yeah, there you go. 539 gold and some gems. Another thieves pick plus two, and a broadsword plus two. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you kill Gnome Elders pretty much at any opportunity that you get. <sighs> okay, so Thieves Pick plus 2 is obviously going to go to Chunk. Uh, we can remove one of his normal Thieves Picks. Pick up a whopping 2 additional Thievery. And a Broadsword plus 2... I don't know how that compares to a Battle Axe. A Battle Axe does 1 to 10 damage, a Broadsword does 1 to 10 damage. So a broadsword plus two is just flat out superior. Nice. Okay, now, uh, for this one, we actually want to go up this way. And I think it's actually... No. Oh, three more gnome elders. Nice. Well, I mean, you guys are just so boned. 
Please don't know it yet. There we go. Uh, fine trap chunk. Another 486 gold. And again, that is per character. So it's quite a bit of money. And the kobolds are back here in the kobold HQ. Keep out. And this first group surprised us. However, we have a Rove, and Rove throws lightning, so this these fights went from something that was, you know, moderately dangerous to decidedly less dangerous. I want to say that there is a fight with these guys that has a bunch of Kobold Commandos, and that one... I'm not going to say it's, like, going to be necessarily life-threatening, but it's going to be more dangerous than this, and we should be able to just melee these guys down. Do a real quick search. A Great Bow. I think that's... What is chunk? Eh, longbow? I'm gonna look. I think great bows are better than longbows, but I honestly do not remember. Great bow. 12 damage, longbow 10. Yeah, nice. Alright. Trade item with Devon. Remove the longbow. Equip the great bow. Yay, we got upgrades. Things are happening. And again, I'm not giving you guys the mini map because this is literally a straight hallway. I think we can. Manage this. Alright, here we go. Some sewer rats, cobalt captains. Thankfully, it's a small group of them that is available to engage us. So, this should be a cakewalk. And I think kobolds are more dangerous than sewer rats, so we're gonna start at the top and just burn these guys down. This should not, yeah, I was gonna say, this shouldn't be bad at all. And unlike the other quest for the wizard, this quest is not repeatable. For what it's worth, I guess. All you get from this are hirelings. Which I will explain once we get them. Ah, oh, Lightning Bolt makes combat so much- like, AoE magic just makes the combat in this game so much... I don't know, easier. Some gold, some split mail. Injuries. Dragon Sir Hyrin, thank you, and flee. Truly, they are the bravest sort. Let's get out of here. Okay, we are up in Middlegate. We are gonna rest, we are gonna hit the tavern. And the fountain. Okay. My grateful sons are now available for hire at Middlegate Inn. I reward you with information to help you gain untold riches. Travel through portals to all towns, donate at the temples, and visit the felled carved fountain. I believe if you donated all the temples, you get the far thing that you need. And she mentioned that her children are for hire in the tavern, and they're not kidding. You can come in here, and if you hit space, you can see that we now have two hirelings. Drog is a barbarian, and Sir Hiren is a knight. Now, my temptation is to bring these guys with me because it's extra bodies. But you'll see that they're both level one, and their stats are kind of ass. Normally, I skip over these guys and just run with six characters until you can get some of the later um, NPCs. There's actually one you can get fairly early. You can get Mr. Wizard, I believe, if you... I don't want to say exploit, but if you creatively use some magic. Uh, I don't know necessarily that I'm going to do that, but... I don't know, I'll think about it. I might level these guys. Like, the thing is, is like, if they were casters, I'd be more uh, apt to do it. I might grab Sir Hiren, his, like, their stats are just so bad, though. But having another knight in the front row, or we could grab Drog as a barbarian. I think I'm gonna take Drog with us. And the reason- I do not want to exit the DOS, thank you. Uh, the reason for that is that I can... Oh god, I have to remember how to do it. Is it E? There we go. Exchange Drog with the Vaughn. Then we'll exchange Gold Leaf with the Vaughn. Then we'll exchange Rove with Gold Leaf. And that way, uh, we've got four competent melees in the front row. And that's gonna make... Not necessarily ambush is easier, but it's just going to give us additional buffer, which I think we're going to need. And he might be level 1 now, but you level quickly early on, and the gaps in XP requirements between levels are so great that it's not really going to matter. So we do have two, 
that are fairly close to leveling, so I think what I'm gonna do, really quick, oh no, it's a man at arm and some polter guy, poltergeist. These guys are gonna have a really bad time right now. Look at that. Uh, two, three. I wanna keep, although, here, we'll really quickly, three and four. There, now Chunk's back in his usual position, and ideally I will, you know, be able to use him to pop traps without hitting the wrong button. Not enough gems. That's okay, we have front row. Rove, out of gems. That's, I was gonna say, that's probably, if I had to guess, trade gems with gold leaf would be six, and we'll give her 79 of them. He's gonna need the majority of them because he's throwing death magic constantly. 900. All right, so these guys are ready to level. And the reason I want to do that is so that I can show you guys, because I said I didn't want to do anything off screen. Oh god, I got turned around. Where am I? All right, here's town. Okay, so we're going to go to Atlantium. To do this, we go to the poor man's portal. Then from the poor man's portal, let's say the Sirocco portal's right here. We do not, and it's Jean-Luc, because this game has, well, I shouldn't say this game. All of the Might and Magic games kind of have... Uh, a lot of Star Trek references in them. So now we're going to Volcania, which we are uninterested in, and I think it's right here. And here we go to Atlantium. So it costs you about 120 gold, give or take. Well, more than 120, probably closer to 150. Uh, and while we are here, like I said, we're going to just hit up Atlantium's training, and I'm gonna really quickly turn to the map here so that I can very quickly run us over there. I want to say it's like right down the road. That's the Olympic trial. It's right here. No, that's an athlete, which I think gives you more hit points. Get our spells running here again. Where is it? Island training. How novel. Okay. So you'll know that previously it would only cost us 300 gold to train. Here it costs us 1,500. Very much more expensive. However, when we train, you see we gain 14 hit points instead of, you know, only a handful here. Even Rove will probably benefit from this. However, Rove's not the one leveling Gold Leaf is, and she gained 10 hit points. So it's worth coming here if you want to max out your health pool, and there's actually an NPC you can meet later in the game, and this will take us back to Middle Gate, which is where we want to end the episode. Um, there's an NPC later in the game that will pay you a bunch of money to essentially maximize your leveling hit points if you talk to them and pay them like a million gold or something. Whether or not it's worth it, I don't know. Generally speaking, I don't, um, but you know, that's neither here nor there. I am however going to call it. So as per usual, folks, thank you for watching. I will catch you all next time wherein we're going to have some extra levels under our belts. Hit points are going to probably be a lot higher, and I may have equipped the Barbarian. We'll see. Until then.